we are almost there. Um, yeah, it's um, you really should go through the code and try to understand because um, it's uh, it would take too long to to explain every single line. But uh, what did we do? We imported our libraries, Librosa, Music 21, PyWidgets. Um, we uh, loaded our Switch Idle Mine WAV file. We apply the transformation from time domain to time frequency domain using, using the constant Q transform that we can map frequencies to musical notes. We calculated the onsets of, uh, of notes. So now we have this time frequency information with uh, segments. We, cre we estimated the tempo. We now go through each segment and we call a function called estimate pitch that will give us the um, fundamental frequency estimation for each segment. So now we have duration of a note. We know which note to play. We know uh, what's the amplitude, what's the velocity. And we have this function that puts it all together and constructs a sine wave, a MIDI, and a music 21. So it constructs it gathers all the information we have and it places in the in the format required by uh, synth to synthesize a sine wave to use the MIDI util library or to use the music music 21 library in this case the music 21 library is just taking information as we got but the MIDI I'm using here this round to 16 so the MIDI information I am rounding so if, if the note uh, is a bit more than um, I'm always rounding to a 16th note so we did it we now I take this uh, array which is um, I have a sine wave information which is the um, index 0 of my array so I'm concat concatenating all the segments together and I will play the switch on mine calculated from the constant Q transform using a sine wave and it sounds like this <laughs> So if you think, I consider this very good results. We are taking an audio file and we are able to synthesize using a sine wave this information. Let's see now, I have also the music 21 information. To generate a score, we need uh, to call these functions from the music 21 library. It creates a stream. I'm defining for that I want uh, the instrument to be a guitar. I'm giving the metadata, which is the, the title. And it's very nice because the music 21 has uh, this uh, analyze key function. So it takes the notes what uh, we calculated before and it will tell you which is the key so it detected that is a C sharp major or D flat and then I am inserting this so I can have the the key in my score so we have calculated before the tempo we have the key and now when I use this show string we have this nice musical score calculated from our audio file that we use the constant Q transform, onset detection, and we 
with Music 21. For each segment, we construct the note, we give it a duration, we give it a note name, a note symbol. Uh, all inside this function here, you can uh, generate, sign, MIDI, and note. So it goes through each audio segment and it uh, constructs three different uh, information. One of which we can use uh, Music Score and Music 21 to have this nice music. And how does it sound? So we have here the MIDI. So it's playing this score using Music 21. And what we can do also, the Music 21, we can write a MIDI file. So it's this next step. I'm writing a MIDI file called Sweet Child on Mine. And now I will open Music Score software. Open this file. So let's run it. So I have here, this is the music MIDI, the MIDI file that was saved using Music 21. This is a music, music score software. And now it's already set with a guitar and it sounds like So you can notice that the notes are not exactly um, according to its 16th. The MIDI information I saved, not the Music 21 notes that were that I saved as MIDI, but the straight MIDI information uh, in the format used by uh, MIDI utils. So I can use this, and I'm saving also a MIDI file, but now it's from, from the information in the format of MIDI utils. And I can also, this is rounded to the 16th, and I can also open Music Score. I can open this file, the Switch Child on Mine. And there's a difference because now I rounded to the 16th and the um, when saving the MIDI, it recalculated the, the tempo based on the notes and it gives me a different BPM. But now you can see that the notes are The notes are now exactly on uh, rounded to the 16th. So that's it, my friends. Um, yeah, I got a bit lost sometimes, but it's... Uh, this is the very basics of automatic music transcription. It's a very simple example. Monophonic, the notes are well-defined. Um, Real music with things playing on top of each other is much more complicated, but you can have uh, an idea about using the constant Q transform, a comparison to the Fourier transform, onset detection, beat tracking, um, how to create this um, uh, user interface to fine tune your parameters. Uh, saving uh, to MIDI using MIDI Util, having a score using Music 21. Uh, yeah, I hope you uh, you liked it. Uh, feel free to uh, write me some email with some questions, complaints, and uh, see you uh, in another step-by-step -step solution of a problem and uh, some basic tutorials in uh, 
I'm Feta from uh, Guitars AI, Guitar Information Retrieval, and I check you later.